that's what described it was a breach between the means and the end. The Emtsai should have been identical, the means should have been identical with the end, but it didn't happen that way. Perhaps then we can understand that from that point forward, the tikkun would be the great corrective would be that they should be exactly identical and congruent. Whenever we can make the means at the end identical. If this is the only means to get to the end, then it partakes of the end. It's part of the climax. Mitzvahs. Mitzvahs are eights, we're taught. They're counsel, guidance, direction on how to attend to improving, to perfecting man. But they're not merely means to the end of the perfection of man. Since there are no alternative means to get to that perfection, they partake, they are ends in themselves as well. The Chavusa, the last 41 years, learning the Mesechta, of Osameach, of Kiru, of Habot Zestera. The Chavusa was a, was a means to clarify, to challenge, to disagree, to agree, to learn up the Sugya, the Sugya Shmaitza, and even the Hilchasa, to bring it to some, from its theoretical to the practical. <coughs> the Chavusa was a means, a Hechatimza. But it was an end. And the Adidas, the Chabusa, that was means and the end. The Reus. about a little bit by the Levaya, 
but he understood that the imperative was Bahalaisva Sanevas. Rashi brings it that we're taught. Make that nair capable, that light capable of a shalhevis that can be aimed with mayatsma, of a flame that can go on burning. Bring your tamidim to the point with their bnei keira, tamidim kachomim. And of course, the world is made up of zvulins and yisosvot. But the zvulin that goes through the period of his gestation, of his growth, as a bentela in the environment of people who are becoming yisosvot, is a different zvulin. It's a different mitzvah. Because the means is the end, the hours sitting in the base mothers. have impacted his neshama. And that is a minimal survival kit <coughs> on what has to be done when he walks out of the Kaisley of his mothers, but to fundamentally impact his neshama. He's a different person, he's a different mitzias, because he already tasted of the end, because the means in the end. Shire to the previous Shabbos. You shall meet Daushans that Kalyaso came to say, Chagimu Dal learns how to pronounce a ches. And a few feet away, somebody learning a Rabbi Kivayga and a Rabbi Chayyim. So shtaiding for the crews for the master educational Shabbos. Crafted all the nuances and subtleties of how somebody could start from scratch and become a Ventilla Tamad Hohm. Or a Zulin that was savvy enough, critical enough to know who the Tamil Kahomim are. Went through so much together. Quoted it to some of you. Once asked a Rebbe of mine about a person where he had learned with Jacob Weinberg to learn Rafa. Asked him about Ravutna, what he got from Ravutna. He said to me everything. He said, it's strange, but I don't remember your quoting Ravutna. To which he said, yes, but at a very crucial point in his life, he began shaping his thought process. How would I present this sheer, this idea, this insight to Ravutna? So Mamela, it became integrated into his person, this with his personality, that thought process. <laughs> as God has Shkoko would have it, I've spent a lot of the last 41 years traveling. And if I would have a Hatzlocha, the Benesham sent a Hatzlocha, my first Reflex response was, ah, I can just picture Remeros smile in Simcha. 
and the many, many frustrations and we survived that buffeting over the years together. I could already anticipate whether it happened there or here, how we would learn up that subya together and we would find the irony and the humor in it. And that gave me the kayak. Yosef, the confrontation. I'm not sure who, but I'm sure Dar Shonim have said it over the years, but some years ago, the Psukim leaped out at me. Ki Abdecho Ora Besanao, Nehim Ovi Lemo. Who is saying that? Take responsibility. Albus for this young lad. From Yaakov, to Yaakov, for Yaakov. If I don't bring him back to you, the Chetosi Olovi Kvolayom. I mean, the Pasuk is saying that Kol Yisrael Abeyvim Zelazer We're all Olive, Mayim Ovi, Avinu Shabishamayim. We're all of for every Jewish child. The Abdaha, all of us are now. I'm responsible for that boy. Remendel had that sense of responsibility. It wasn't external, an obligation. It was part of his Matthias, whether it was in Pilu or Beis Yaakov, but most of all, the prime years of his creativity here, here, because of his passion and his joy in the challenge helping somebody from our poor bear. So it says and an Asidus. Means and end. They were one. It's only somebody who can rejoice in the act of the teaching. Who has such an Abbas Taylor and an Abbas Yisrael that they merge and fuse together. Had that kind of an impact. Im lo am yeno lechem. I don't bring this new balshuba to you. The bala shlal bochetosi lo ovi kol ayomim. And a few sukkim later, he ate ele al ovi. How am I going to go up to the bala shlal the yom adid? But now I know. I didn't bring that that talmud with me. And he didn't let him rest. Another Shia, another Chabrusa, another Shia, whether he was learning with a Tzibur or with a Yochid. The Posik from the Haftel that I refer to, when a Sati Lachom Alchim, Ben Ainur Eir, starts out with and Yochid. I have rendered you, Lachom. Then it switches to Rav, Mahalchem, a plural. Then I'm the man. A yochid, an individual, can become a tzibur. The 
Mount Sanhedrin says <coughs> is a visual. Again and again, the same question, the same problems. <coughs> totally immersed with the other. <coughs> a selflessness that the good idea, the good vault, the right shot, the right avoga, that came from someone else, and it was right, that's what we had to do. That's the way to learn this city. The man who goes to life and ask him, I'm still hovering over these walls, saturated with your heels, your life, your vitality, your chokhmah, your greatness and terror. Sometimes there are interruptions in the Chabusa. A little harder. But we know you're going to be a meditation and all for the Mishpacha. Extended Mishpoch of Osamer, thousands of Talmidim, to the other Matera, to Kladiso. Then Hashem should be Mazakas, the Dias, a great Mishpoch of Yemen. Was a uh, multifaceted person. <coughs> Many uh, simonim of godless, and I am not capable of dealing with all of them. I picked one one facet that I think uh, we all can learn from. And that will be the greatest English muscle. Mar says in Chorus, Omra Yehuda Marav, Mai Dixi, Wagura, Boalecha, Olomim, Echiefsha, Lola Odom, Lodor, Vishne, Olomim, says, I will dwell in your tents, Olomim, two worlds. Possible for a person to live in two worlds at the same time. El Omer Dovid is now Kaddish Baruch Hu Ribon B'Shalolam. The Yeratzon Shiyomu Dvar Shmua Mipi Ba'olam Azeh. The Omer of Yochanan Mishum Reb Shum Ben Yochai. Kol Tamit Chochim Shomu Dvar Shmua Mipi Ba'olam Azeh. Shem Sov Sov Dovid Vos Pekev. Person can live in two worlds. Person can be in Olam HaEmes and still be here. But when they say over. Dvar Shmua, save over Dibre Torah, his Dibre Torah, and his lips move in the Kev. Most certainly, Rav now is uh, Agura Bishnei Olamim. Not only are his Dvarim set over, but his Metzius is here. Hanefesh Asherosu Becharam. It's not only what he said, but what he created. Thousands and thousands of Talmidim and Talmide Talmidim. So that most certainly puts him in this world and in the next world. And I think that Remendel Zatzal was a person who lived in two worlds in this world too. Two distinct worlds. And he amalgamized and synthesized both of those two worlds. 
On the one hand, he was firmly rooted in the Olam HaTorah here in Eretz Israel. He sat on the board and hall of many organizations and institutions. He was a spokesman of the Torah world here in Eretz Israel and worldwide. He lived in that world. At the same time, he lived in a different world. He's able to deal with the Olam of Baal Tshuva and those who are not yet Baal Tshuva and be able to live comfortably and successfully in that world too. Those are two worlds and that was something that was very difficult to do. Many people are able to live in one of those two worlds. But to synthesize both of them is a uh, superhuman feat. <coughs> the Abarbanel says that Yosef HaTzadik had that ability. On the one hand, the Torah calls him He knew how to deal as a youth with Bilo and B'nai Zilpa at the same time Ben Zikunim. He knew how to deal with his old father. When it was necessary to deal with the aged father, he knew how to deal with old people. When it was necessary to deal with young people, he knew how to deal with young people. He was able to adapt his hanhaga to the situation at hand. This was the koach that was given to Shayo Anovi. Tells the Rosh Hashiva, the Vedimeyer Blob Zatzal, my Rosh Hashiva, my Rebbe, Rev Gifter Zatzal, quotes it all the time. Adonai Elohim no sanli le shonli mudim. The Rabbanu gave him a lotion to move him. Laus, laus. Says the Rosh Hashiva of the Meir. Laus comes from the word Eis. The whole Eis was man to know how to speak timely words, words that fit the occasion, that fit the audience, that fit the times. Not chas v'shalom, to adapt the Torah to the times, but to be able to adapt the times to the Torah and to know what time this hanhog is appropriate and what time this appropriate, what olam this hanhog is appropriate for and what olam this hanhog is appropriate for. The men who had that koach, laus, to know to be able to adapt and accommodate his Hanhaga, to live in those two worlds, to be able to be adept in the Olam Torah as an accomplished Talmud Chacham, God will be Israel, at the same time a Madrich and a Moradera for those people who are Schiller's old Gesundsein, said we're just learning how to say an Aleph and a Beis and pronounce a Ches properly. it's <laughs> The Shabbos Kodesh, Parshas Pilchus, Tov Kuf Gimel, Abal Shem Tov, Natal et Yadav, the Suda Shlishit. Ubizman Shi Natal et Yadav, who will see a Nachag do Lago, the Kola Tamidim. It's Padu. Lama ha Baal Shem Tov Gonea. Lama hu Atsu. Avolo Izu Bisholoto. Lumetzoi Shabbos, Achrei Shabbos. Nikshu Alav. Bishalu Oto. Ma Karash? Az Omar Alem. Shekova Ner Hamarovi. Kova Ner Hamarovi. Zoi Vinu. Azuamar Shibayer Tisrael. Aya Yudi. Orachai Makadosh. 
והוא נפטר, ובשמיים קראו לו נר המלובי. So they asked the Baal Shem Tov, why was the Or Achayim HaKadosh called the Ne'er HaMalobi? I think when we understand what was the specialness of the Or Achayim HaKadosh, that he was Zoyche to the kingly Ne'er HaMalobi, we can say also the Zeranpin that when Rav Mendel passed away on Hanukkah, Zach Hanukkah, Zach Kislev, by us also, Kava Ner Hamalovin. What does this mean? How does it affect us? So I want to explain a little bit. It says in Parshas Emor, by Dabar Hashem and Moshe Emor, Tzav is B'nai Yisrael, V'yichu Elach Hashem Yizah Yizoch, Chosis Lamor, L'alos Ner Tamid, Michutz L'Poroches Ha'edus. Michutz L'Poroches Ha'edus. As Rashi Kfar Omer al Zeh, מה הכוונה שזה פרוכס או אידוס? איזה אידוס יש בפרוכס? אז אומר רש"י, לפני הארון שהוא קרוי אידוס. ארון הוא קרוי אידוס, כי הוא קרוי אידוס, כי הוא קרוי אידוס, כי הוא קרוי אידוס. ורבוסינו דורשו על נר המערובי שהוא אידס וישראל לכל בוי העולם שהשכין השוער בישראל. שנוסן משה בן קמידס חברתו, חברותיה וממנו היו מסדים וממנו היו מסיים. אז אנחנו רואים כאן שיש שלושה דברים שנקראים אידס. The oral אידס, which have in them the לוחס אידס, the Ner HaMorovich, which is Edus the Boy Yoelom, and the Parochis is called Edus because it's connected to the Oron Edus and connected to the Nerus, the Ner HaMorovich. What does this mean? So the Maral here in Gur Arye explains the Yisod which we have. The parochis in the Beis Hamikdash was called the Dvir. There was an amok of the wall between the Kodesh and the Kodesh HaKadoshim. The Gemara says it was the Sophic, whether it had the end of Kodesh HaKadoshim, it had the end of Kodesh, and the Bayez Sheni, they had two parochis. One on the Kodesh HaKadoshim side, an amok in the middle, and then the other one on the Kodesh side. And the Kohen God, when he used to enter the Beis Amigdosh, he went in between these two parochas. And this area is called the Dvir. Why is it called the Dvir? That from this area, the Dibur, the word of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, went out from the Kohenish HaKadoshi, from the Eidus, the Luchas Eidus, from the Oral Eidus, from between the Kruim, and it was generated and transmitted throughout all of Klaus. <coughs> what do we see over here? 
we see that the Kodesh HaKadoshi, the Luchas HaEdus, is so holy, it's so Ruchni, that it's not possible to relate to it. Only the Kohen HaGod will be Yom HaKippurim. We need a means to translate, to generate this Kedusha through throughout Kalah Yisrael. And this is that it goes through the Parochis. The Gemara says that the Parochis leaned on the Oran Kodesh. And the Oran Kodesh in the Mishkan, the two Badea Oran pushed the Parochis and they looked like two Dadim. And through there you could see the Oran Kodesh penetrating, sticking out towards the Kodesh. This teaches us that it's necessary to have some vehicle that can transmit the Kedusha of Kodesh HaKadoshim to be the Dabim that we can feed from, to generate the light in the Ner HaMarovi, and this way it can be dispersed throughout our clients. The Koach of the Orachayim HaKadosh. He could take the most abstract ideas in Kabbalah, the most highest ideas in Kedusha, and bring it down to every individual Yid. Today, thousands and thousands of Yid learn the Orachayim HaKadosh. Talmidei Chachomim, regular Balabatim, the very name of Yorachayim HaKadosh transmits to us the idea that he brought Kedusha into Klaus. He was the Ner HaMarovi. And therefore, when he passed away, the Baal Shem Tov said, Kalda Ner HaMarovi. We don't have that talk anymore. We also can say, Romendo, you were the Rampin in this door, the Ner HaMarovi. You could take the most abstract ideas of Kedusha, the Lucas of Reese, the Mokobot, where there's no road, the Gashmis whatsoever, and bring them out into the world and spread that light through the most darkest places to people that never learned any Torah, that had no Shaykhs to Torah, that had no idea of what Yiddishkeit is all about. And therefore, when we stand here and we speak about remember the claim of the brother, we have to realize we lost the light of the Ner HaMarovi. Kawa Ner HaMarovi. And therefore, every one of us has to work harder to try to replace this loss, this ability to be able to transmit Torah like Rabbis mentioned and explained in Spandula. The Gemara says that there are three sorry. There's Keser Kahuna, there's Keser Torah, and there's Keser Malchus. In the future, we're bringing more and more people back to Klaus, back to Torah, back to Yerushalayim, to do it with the Ennis, to do it with an ability to make them appreciate what true Torah is like, to take the Oran, the Anus, the Luchas of Riz, to transmit them through all the different difficulties, through the Parochis, through the veils, through the different things which keep it from being generated into the world, to take it and show through the Ner HaMarovi the Klaus in the world, Ein Torah to Torah Hashem, we also see it, the Mishpocha, the Mishpocha, Yore Shambayim, Oh, the Hashem, the Emes, the Tvilis. For only this father, the Mandel, that he should be a meditation for us in the Yeshiva, for Klai Yisrael, for the Mishpocha, and we should be Zoycha, Vodatsi and Goyal. And we should say, Hashem, for 
ربنا يغفر لي ولكم 